Hello YouTube, welcome to TechLingo and welcome to the new video series called 50 Tips About Windows 8. So in this video series I'll be sharing 50 tips and tricks about the new Windows 8 operating system. And this is the first video of this video series so I'll talk about the new Windows lock screen. So Windows 8 boots up to this new lock screen which looks pretty but unfortunately it does not give you any clue about what to do next. So let me show you how you unlock the screen. There are several ways to do this. You can just press the space bar on the keyboard or spin the mouse wheel or swipe upwards on a touch screen just like this and you'll get the login screen with the username that you created during the installation of Windows 8 and whatever password you have set for this username you can type in the password let me tell you about another feature which I really liked about this new login screen is if you can see here you can see an I icon. If you press this it will show your password. If you unpress it it will just show the dots but if you press the I icon it will show your password. This is very useful whenever you have problem with your keyboard if any of the keys isn't working you can make sure that you're typing in the right password. Um, it'll be useful for help desk folks in big organization. Sometimes user will be typing in wrong password. You can ask them to click on this I icon. They themselves can check to make sure that they are typing in the right password. Alright so let me log in and I'll see the new start screen and let me go back to the lock screen the lock screen also provides you updates and notifications for the metro apps that are found in the start screen by default you'll not see any metro app updates until you configure them now in my case I have configured the mail app and because of that I'm seeing an update for the mail app alright so I'll show you how you can configure the Metro apps to show the updates or notifications on the lock screen oh, by the way you're not gonna configure the Metro apps in fact you're gonna change the PC settings for these Metro apps let me show you this. Let me log in. Alright, now that we are in the start screen, you should go to the top right corner of the screen. And you'll see these charms on the left side. And you have to go into settings and in settings all the way down you'll see an option that, that says change PC settings so click on it alright so it will take us to the personalize option under PC settings and you can customize the lock screen the start screen account picture so under lock screen you can change the background image of the lock screen so if I want to change the background image to this I simply click on this you can click browse to select a picture from your computer this screen is used to customize which apps should appear on the lock screen by default it shows updates for the messaging app mail app calendar app only if they are configured. You can select up to seven apps 
and also you can select a metro app to show detailed status basically it will show more notifications and updates than any other metro app selected to show up on the lock screen by default we have calendar app that shows up more detailed status updates so I can click on this I can select either calendar or the weather or nothing at all if I click on don't show detailed status on the lock screen so let me select weather you can also have third-party apps to show up on the lock screen to show their updates and notifications only if they support them let me go to the lock screen now you can see I selected weather app to show up on the lock screen with the detailed information you can see the weather app is showing more information about the weather of my city alright thanks for watching the video please click the like button if you like the video more videos will be coming up and please click subscribe to watch the second video of this video series